Okay, so is, hopefully you can, uh, you've received your copy of the database. It should be personalized for you with your name. Uh, there are a number of reasons that that is the case. One is just so they can keep track of the files that you do uh, in case there are any questions um, or any kind of you know, specific information you could maybe provide later on down the line. So you're working within FileMaker. Um, and you see over here, this is where you scroll back and forth between the two pages. You see here that uh, I received a warning there, no records present to create a new record, choose new record. So I'm going to hit new record from the button here. So now you have an empty record. And uh, it's comprised of some of three zones. One is the publication data area here. One is the representational data here, which is the demographic information. It's a series of checkboxes you'll check off. And then there's a third area that you can't see that I'm going to try and show you. Um, uh, right here. Where uh, you won't need to attach a photograph or provide a summary. Don't do that. But you will need to attach a PDF or a text file. And the way you do that is you go here to insert and select file and then just select the file you're looking for. Uh, and it'll show up here. All right. That's all you need to do for that. There's also a uh, timestamp for the record uh, and your own personal serial number. Again, just in case any questions come up later on down the line. So this is what we're really going to be working with. Uh, this area here. Uh, here's where you can just enter the data. It'll always force you to capitalize it. Um, the wire service, that's if it's AP or UPI, if there is a wire service. The date you have to enter in as it's requesting, it won't give you any other option. Let's say section A, page 5, and all right. So what you do is if you hit the tab key, you can move from field to field. You hear I'm, see I'm hitting tab, 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 tab. And this moves into these boxes. Now, this is important here, the photo, um, because if the article uh, has uh, no photograph, meaning there isn't even one available, there's no graphic, there's no um, photograph, you would click obviously no photograph. If, uh, if there is a photo but it's not a part of the story, meaning it's an additional download, it's a link, or because of the, the type of document you've got, the photo isn't available, you'd click there is a photo but it's not attached. Um, and if there is a photo embedded in the story, if it's in PDF format or something like that, then you would click Photo Attach. And that kind of references the file that you would attach over here. The article type, self-explanatory, region as well, age. Now here's something where you can select multiple boxes if you want. If you've got children and, you know, the elderly, you'll click two boxes. Same thing here. Now addiction, this is one that can work with two or three of these other ones. So addiction and alcoholism would be one, you know, alcohol addiction or drug addiction. Um, this button works with these two here. But of course you can click multiple fields as well. Same thing here. Same thing here. Now remember there's uh, the new record button. You can see here now you've got the ability to scroll back and forth between two fields and delete record which will delete something should you make some sort of a mistake see delete so now it has no records and now it has one record so remember again uh, you'll want to uh, export your fields that's a separate tutorial and you'll want to attach files that's over here in this area here, the attached file. So you click on the field itself and you go to insert and select the file you're doing. All right, that's as easy as that gets. Can't get any easier than that. That's all. Thank you.